Oh my goodness, you guys. I have so many things that came in in that haul that you guys saw with the October HSN craft day that I'm just making video after video. Um, I think this will be the next one. I don't know what I want to do about this one. So basically it's uh, some items that I picked up that were for the quill foil. And I don't have the quill foils from We Are Memory Keepers for like the scan and cut. And I guess you can put it in your Cricut. And I was just thinking about it. I have not used my Cricut. I have the Cricut Create, the small one, the original. I had the larger expressions and then I sold that one. And then I got um, the expressions like two. It still looked like the regular expressions, but it had the little flip up. Anyway. Uh, thing and then I have the quick explore air and I, I don't even know the last time I opened it to be honest I not since I've been here that's over a year probably two years I want to say like straight up so I, I'm not really interested in getting them but I do kind of like the idea of them but I did hear some people say they found some on clearance like at Joann's or even at Tuesday morning so for like 750 so I'm like okay maybe it's worth picking up at least one right but these are the quill foil freestyle pens and I did like them when I did the review it has almost 10,000 views already um they're interesting they're fun that was weird I saw some movement over there <laughs> those are my keys anyway and um and so I want to try these but if you guys saw in the recent haul because I've had those for a while now <laughs> um I had picked up these little boxes and I'll show you one of them like this Merry Christmas box and it ended up being because I saw it I thought oh cool yeah you know why not for the foil quill but these are for the ones that you would use in your machines so and I should have known that from the USB but then I thought well maybe I can still use the USB print it out in regular paper and then trace over it with my freestyle right so I have the USB port um, it came with bows it comes with five different sheets of different four different colors of the foil um, all kinds of cardstock basically 20 cardstock 20 card fronts 20 envelopes and you know one storage box it says and on here they have different things so this one says Merry Christmas here I don't know what the designs are I haven't looked at it um, this other one that I think I'll use today even though we are approaching Christmas but I wanted to check this other one out and the reason I got these is because they were I think $22 kind of on a little bit of a sale because they're usually 25 but then I realized they had them for a this day only last month for $16.95 so if you can get it for cheaper that's great of course like I said I got my $20 off of 99 coupon on it so I basically got 20% off so they end up being right around 18 bucks basically so um, not bad so that's kind of why I wanted to give it a chance and keep it because I have the foil here it still works the same foil you use for the freestyle this one has the bows and then it has like everyday sentiments so I guess the early um, editions of this even though you put it into your machine it didn't have the cut file so now they have where you do your little design whatever the design is that's on here and then you can also do the cut file on your um mostly brother scanning cut but i guess you can use it on your Cricut or any machine that draws they said you can use the foil quills right um so but these are the freestyle ones so what i'm going to do is take this over to my computer i'm probably going to use my mac because i don't think i have i have an idea of how i'm going to resize things and i'm going to use word I guess you can use like paint or whatever editor you like to resize things. You can definitely do that. I'm going to put this on my Mac and we will see and hopefully it will work. So let's pull that up. I'm going to print them out and we'll see how dangerous that is. I don't think it should be too bad as far as drawing over regular paper, but we will see. Okay, so I'm in my living room. This is normally where I keep my Mac. I have laptops everywhere. I have desktops. I usually keep my Mac right here on this um, armrest you know I have my plug here and then I have these little side tables I love these side tables they're the kind that you can tuck stuff in they're just like like a little hook I don't know side table thing and then like I have my crochet bag in front of me so I can do this watch tv and I'm here and everything's great so anyway uh, just <laughs> a little glimpse into how my day goes and then I'll sit here with my laptop and edit videos but we're gonna get this little guy and obviously we have to pop it open it's a USB make sure it pops all the way out let me put it in here and see if this even works I did hear one of the gals Look, it's turning red on HSN say, yeah, put in your computer, you know, which obviously I guess maybe some of these machines are computer operated, especially the the newer cricket and stuff. Um, oh, it popped up right here. Mac is kind of funny. Oh, this is a bomb picture of where we used to live in uh, Monterey. I don't know if that's the Carmel side. I don't remember where my husband took this picture, but I think anyway, I, I loved it out there. It's cold, very cold. Okay, so I double clicked on that to open it up. Let me see if I can get this bigger. I don't like how small this is. Okay, so it says PNGs, which are your pictures or your images. SVGs, which are cut files, which wouldn't work on my, but there's no reason to open it here. And then the foil quill tips and tricks, it says. So I guess you could open up that and look at it, but let's see what's on here. 
So I double click on that, it says baby, banners, borders, celebration, congratulations, flowers, and plants, inspirational, miscellaneous, miscellaneous icons, <laughs> miscellaneous phrases, Mother's and Father's Day, patterns, thank you, thinking of you, and wedding. So let me open miscellaneous icons because I would like to see what that means. Oh, they're just like different little things. Doily. Something that is weird. I thought it was a Christmas thing. It's a moth. Ew. Okay. I've never been the one that thinks moths are pretty. Uh, moths. No. Flowers and plants. Oh, well, that's a cute little basket. And so all these things, basically, you would put it like a, you know on your machine and it would draw it out. But I'm looking for something that I can just do by hand, right? That we're going to want to do by hand. This one has a lot of things there. This would be cute, but this is the thing you have to remember. If you're doing this by hand, you need to know exactly where you went over it. So I guess go in concentric circles so you don't miss something um, if you're doing it by hand, right? Um, I was thinking about more of a sentiment. Let's look at this banners. Those are cute. Those are kind of a lot going on there. Let's not do that. Uh, borders. Ooh. Some of those are really cute, though. Why don't we try a border? Even though it is kind of a lot to do, but how about, why not? How about this one? Okay, I double clicked it right now and see it opened up in uh, photos, right? Like pictures. And you can print it from here, but it's going to put it right in the middle. Look, if I say file print, I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to be probably, yeah, right in the middle of my page. Just like when I showed you guys about the um, printing. Oh, what's that stuff called? Where is this thing? Where is it? Okay, did it go away? I'll just open it again. Um, how to print and cut your own um, things from like the crea uh, inspirations magazines. Um, but let's go back to what was that? Borders. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make this small again. Oopsie. Ugh. Come on. I told you guys I don't know how to do this stuff here. Sorry, I was just struggling again. to make it small again. Okay, so I just wanted it to be out of the way. I'm gonna open up Microsoft Word. Oh, that's a mochila wayu sample thing I was trying to print. Let's do a new new blank document. And then what I'm gonna do is just drag that picture. This should work. Where are we at? No, not that one. <laughs> Let me, uh, don't save, that's fine. Oh, maybe I should have saved that. Oh, well, okay. Uh, this is the one we wanna try. And I'm just gonna drag it over here and I'm gonna do this in a weird, oh goodness. Let me use my other hand. I had to use my left hand. All right, I'm just gonna drag it over here. Sounds good to me, I'm gonna lay this down. And then now we can kind of see how big this is or how you wanna manipulate it. If you wanna change it in any way, you know, make it smaller. It looks like it's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, about five and a half inches wide. And I'm assuming it's gonna be almost four inches deep because it's probably like a card size. But you can mess with it here. Like if you just wanted to shrink it down, you can do that. I can um, undo that. <laughs> Let's just go back. Again, if you wanna resize things, you can right click however you like to do stuff and you can you know, um, just format it or, and change the size you know, um, with specific numbers if that helps you out. So what I'm gonna do with this, that seems like it's good, why not? Let's uh, print this. And I'll just show what that looks like. And I'm just printing on a regular printer paper, hopefully. I did have <laughs> thicker paper in my printer, hopefully I took that out already. Um, okay, so we have it, whatever, it doesn't matter. Let's just print. Quick print. And let's go back to my craft room and we will okay, get this done. We have our box, we have our paper here. I'm kind of debating if I should just use foil that I already have because this is just the colors that we already have anyway. So maybe I'll do that um, instead of wasting anything from inside the box. But I will use a piece of cardstock and I want to go with a darker blue. That way it'll show up better, whatever we do. Oh, come on. It's hard to flip through for some reason. Okay. Dark blue piece of cardstock. We have this. We'll use that later. Like I said, I have foil that's already Put that to the side. So what I'm gonna do is plug in my foil quills and I'll probably use the medium size one. I think that's good. We can use the thinner one, but I'm gonna use the medium size one and I'm just going to plug it into this here and plug this into my extension cord um, and just let that warm up and supposedly a little light turns on I don't know if you can well, not supposedly but it does 
And I'm gonna let it sit here for a minute. In the meantime, while that's warming up, let's put this to the side. Ooh, let's flip this over. That's not gonna be good. Hmm. Okay, it's all shiny and gross because I just cleaned it off. So I'm gonna go grab a um, paper towel because apparently it did not dry and then I turned it over. Uh, I'm gonna cut this down smaller so it's just around the edges of this piece of paper and I'll be right back. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get a little bit closer because I can see the tripod there and it drives me nuts, um, is get a piece of foil. Not the one we used last time, but that might work. Unless I missed that whole area. Let's see, we have gold, what do we got? This is from the main kit. Oh my goodness. Uh, rose gold, ooh, or coppery, let's use that one. I think that'll be pretty with the blue. It'll be something. All right, there's that. So, we have our piece of paper. Now, I guess you could just keep it nice and straight, so hopefully that'll help you register your paper and your foil. Ooh, I have two sheets. See, not good. Foil, let me see if this reaches even around where the foil should be, actually. Let's make sure of that. Ooh, nice, okay. So they know what they're doing. Obviously, they sell the sheets in certain sizes, so like you saw, I didn't resize this thing and it works just fine. So let me, I'm gonna do a center of this. You see how it's pretty centered there? And then, I don't wanna use there. I'll just use this low tech tape and try to be careful with it. I don't want to, I'm gonna stick it down in this corner. I don't really wanna get on the card too much, but I do want the card to be held down too, so that's not moving. And then we will hold down what the heck happened to my hand? <laughs> I'll show you that in a minute. Oh my gosh, you guys, this stuff is like, wants to fight me. Okay, there. I just have like all these scratches. I get allergies and I get really itchy and then they just show up. And when I was in Georgia, it was the worst. And I guess because I wasn't used to the air there because I used to here and then when I moved back here, I was, you know, having the same reactions because I had to get back used to whatever's going on out here. And we were even having inhalers and they told me I was allergic to everything because the test they did, um, I was allergic to their initial thing, which supposedly is just water. But then I was like, well, maybe there's something in your water that makes me allergic. Like that was a dumb answer in my opinion, but that's okay. All right, we're gonna put this down here. Anyway, I saw those allergies and they're so bad. And I still don't know what it's to. Basically everything, I guess, is what it sounds like. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna eyeball this about how centered this is on the blue piece of paper that's behind here. But hopefully that works out and I'm just going to tape this one a little better because now the blue tape paper is protected but I don't want it to move, right? And oh, I forgot to mention the foil colored side should be up. It's not like your foil transfer when you throw them through a machine or whatever because you want, obviously, when you're done, the color, when you peel it away, the color should be facing you. Okay, guys. So how do we want to do this? I'm not sure that I want, I'm not going to trace around the edges, I don't think. Or should I? I guess maybe I should. Okay, this is what I have to do. I have to know where I am and always do the whole thing. I don't know if this is ready yet, but I'm not gonna touch it. I'm assuming it feels kind of hot. Okay, this is the only thing. Oh gosh, okay, here we go. I'm just gonna start. And hopefully, I'm going a little bit slow because I don't know how hot this is that needs to go through all the way through from the paper to the foil. Do you know what I'm saying? Because we're not touching the foil directly in this case. We are using this. So I'm going to go around and just... Some of the areas might be simplified like this little tube in the middle. The stick in the middle um, has like two spots to it. Or you know what I'm saying? It looks like hollow or do you see that? It's like a line and a line. I just did one line. So I'm starting here. I'm going to go this way. You can kind of see where you went because you can see going over it. What I'm curious is to know if like, would this set the paper on fire at some point? <laughs> if you really just leave it there. So we might test that. Test that out. Okay. Maybe what I can do is pick this up, even though I don't want to, just to be naughty and see if it's transferring. This experiment, you know, it's an experiment, guys. We don't know. Oh, it is. Look. Perfect. Okay. 
So again, I'm doing it kind of steadily, right? I'm kind of taking my time a little bit with it. And what I'm trying to say is you have to remember what you've done. Let's see. Okay, I'm just going to continue going around kind of slowly. I might be doing a little too fast now, but I'm going to go around the whole thing. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I just finished this inner circle, and I don't really want to do the outer one. <laughs> this took maybe five minutes and I'm just like, eh, you know me. I'm, well, should we do the outer one? I think it'd be cute if you just left it alone because then it looks like the image is out here and then you can do your little sentiment in the middle. So I'm going to leave it. Do whatever you like, obviously. And if you're really extra, I think if you could switch out your foil and then do some of the different images and different colors of foil, that would be really nice. But that would take some math and some really like look at it really well and make sure it's all lined up real well but let's have a moment of truth here now let me push this maybe that way so it's a little bit better oh i know i do want to tell you as you're going through it's not that critical that you really look and see that you know what you went over because you can kind of see it i'll show you right now before we remove the foil before we do the fun part and then you can reuse this paper i don't see why not but then at that point you wouldn't be able to know where you went over but like I don't know if you can see, maybe you can see on this side, it looks embossed. <laughs> so you can see on this side, it's kind of shiny looking where you went over already. So you're not going to get lost on that. Let's put that to the side. Look at this, you guys. Oh my gosh. Should I get an Instagram picture right quick? Let me get an Instagram picture really quick. Let me put this back over here. You guys, whenever I Instagram, I'll just stop in the middle of what I'm doing. and I take a picture and it's always a messy picture. I don't know if you guys ever noticed. I don't, it, dude, I'm at home. This is what we're doing. Oh, I'll reveal this in just a second. Hold on. Oh, there's my little niece. It's Six Flags. Okay. My little niece. These people are in their 20s, and I'm like, oh, look at this baby. <laughs> okay, that was a really dark picture. Anyway, um, let's... reveal this. I'm going to be careful about it, but you have to be super, super careful. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be hand-drawn, so I don't know how like professional it's going to look. We will see. Oh my gosh, you guys. I think I did better in some areas. You know, when I first started out, maybe not as much. But look at that. Oh, I bet you anything? Well, I know it's not bet you. You can put this through your foil press and then get the reverse of this. Get all this down without the little design, right? <gasps> Yes, 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 yes. I put this to the side very carefully so I can do that. Look at how cute. Okay, that pause wasn't necessary. I just had to put my Instagram, uh, you know, what I was going to say on there. And why is this so stuck down? <laughs> there we go. Look at that, you guys. It's, you know, if you want to push harder, that's the only thing I would say. Maybe push harder so that it is more embossed, you know what I'm saying? Because usually... Um, you would be pushing down with more pressure, but that's really good. I mean, it's cute. Why not? I mean, like I said, if you can get it for 16 bucks, even better, because I think that's probably the best way to go, but not bad, not super crooked, not, you know. Again, we could have done the outer rim, but I'm going to maybe, you know, if you use for a background or something, I could have gone a little bit bigger even, because I think the foil went to the end of the paper. But it was just an experiment. I wanted to try it out. I think it worked. <laughs> I mean, if you like to doodle, maybe this is the kind of thing you like to do. But, um, you know, I do see some spots where, like, this little leaf didn't quite get there. So maybe I should have pushed down harder in that area. But um, for the most part, I work just like a machine. No, I'm just kidding. But I'll have some pictures for you guys. Thanks for watching. I think it's cute. Oh, I should unplug this foil quill because I'm done with it. Um, there's tons of designs on that thing you saw that. So, you know, pick one. Pick the ones that seem easier to use um, if you're interested in getting it. Just for the foils, for the paper, for the cute box, for the ideas, the design ideas, you know. Um, it's there. So thanks for watching guys. And I guess in a way you could kind of peek at it like I did. And if it wasn't quite right, you can go back and do your little line, you know, um, while it was still taped down, just pick up areas at a time just to make sure. But I think it's pretty cute. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.